Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. In this lesson, we're going to draw another study of a horse. Uh, and I'm drawing in my sketchbook. And what I did was I went and got at Hobby Lobby. You can get one of these anywhere. But a little sketchbook like this. It's fun to have a sketchbook because you can keep all your drawings together as you start to draw. And as you look through your book, you can see how much better you're getting over time. So I recommend a sketchbook if you can get one. If you can't, just get some copy paper and three-hole punch it and put it in a... Um, a folder and you can keep it that way, but it's nice not to lose these because you'll really see a big difference in your drawing over time. Okay, let's jump in and get started on this horse. This is a horse that's sort of putting its head down toward the ground. So I'm going to start with the horse's jawbone and bring the jawbone up this way and then bring the horse's neck in. Okay, now top part of the neck is going to lead to the horse's head. The horse is going to be when it snows down, kind of like this. We're not even looking at ears yet, because for now we're just getting started on the shapes of the horse. nostril here and remember everything is light you can always erase if it's not the way you want it here we're going to put some the horse's mane And right about here, okay. And then go back around just do a little work here. Again, my lines are light. I don't want it too dark yet. Make that a little bit smaller. And kind of outline where I want this horse's mane to be. This bell part, I'm going to fluff it up just a little bit. Okay. I'll come across here with a little. Okay, now this horse is going to be like down, facing down toward the ground, and gravity is going to pull its mane down a little bit. Now this is a black mane, and I like a black mane because it's going to set off this ear here with contrast. Contrast is what makes things look more 3D and makes one thing stand out for another thing in a drawing. As far as the ear goes, little shadow on the edge. This ear, because we can see inside, it's going to be dark inside. Okay. Now, the eye is going to be really dark except for sort of the indication of some eyelashes that I'm going to put in here. Add some shading. Now, shading is important to show the bone structure of the horse, so I'm going to kind of get in here and start doing some shading. So, in the nose, I'm going to make it dark, lighter, 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 lighter. Okay. Down here, now the nose is going to be sort of dark around this area. Start getting lighter as it goes up. Around the muzzle here, just protect a little area of light. 
now and that bottom lip and make it a little darker so you can see the difference. And we're going to bring this up slowly, get lighter as we come up. Now on the jaw bottom, I'm going to make it dark on the edge and lighter, lighter, lighter as it comes up. Remember, whenever I go too fast, just hit the pause button and catch up. When I was teaching in the classroom, I couldn't do that, but now I can. So you can just sort of take your time and catch up. Now I'm going to do a little shading around the eye. It's going to show the contours of the horse's head. Bit of grass down here. It's nice to have some sort of in his mouth where he's going to get some grass and a couple pieces kind of overlap in his nose. So it looks like he's uh, really digging in. horse. See you next time.